Hey designers, today we are going to prototype this plan shop from product list to checkout. So let's get started. I'll give you an overview of what we'll be doing. So we would have a product list and then have a product page that you would go into. From here, you would have an option to go to the cart and you have the process of the checkout. Now let's look at the product list. First, I want to make this scrollable. And let's check out the current state of this by pressing on the play button and see that I can see the prototype, but I cannot scroll right now. So let's go back. I selected the frame and then I go to prototype and change it to vertical scrolling. Now I could scroll as I want. But what if I want to make this nav bar stick to the top while I scroll. So I could select the nav bar, go to design tab, and then select fixed position when scrolling. If I do that, you can see that the nav bar stays in place while the rest of the content is scrollable. And to make this a bit more interactive, I want to make this fav button clickable. So I'm going to use interactive components here. I have this variant already selected. It has an off and on state. Let's go to the prototype, select the button here, and drag to the button that would be selected when tapped on, and vice versa. So on tap, it changes to the state that I want. Let's check how it is shown. And I'll try to click on it. Yes, it works. So I could click on the little fab button, like so. Now let's link the product list to the product page. First, I'll select an item from the product list, like so. Item is selected, then I'll drag to the frame of product page. I could on top navigate to this frame and it's called the product page and it moves in in animation. So let's check it out in action. Play. If I click on this third item you could see that it works. But I'm thinking I'm missing something. How can I go back to the product list? Okay, so I forgot the back button. Let's just add a little back button really quickly. I'll go in, say back, like so. Position it. And then I'll click on this. It would be the trigger. Grow to prototype and link it back to the product list page. So let's go back to this page. So I could click on back. It goes back and forward. But I see the animation is a bit awkward, right? I think I need to change that. Let's go to moving from left to right. Click on to check Still, it doesn't really seem right. So if I do back, it goes on top. And it should move out somehow. So let's go back to the options. And use move out. Let's check the prototype again. Yes, now I think it feels natural. Because if I click on this one on top, it comes on top. Then when I try to remove it, it is removed from the top. 